Hi, my name is Elizabeth Parsons, and I'm from the school, Watergrass Elementary School, and my topic today is bullying in elementary school hurts everyone. In my opinion, I think bullying in elementary school is injustice to the schools, the teachers, and the students. The point I'm trying to make is bullying in elementary school does not just hurt the victim, but can also negatively affect everyone in school. Bullying can include physical, verbal, and emotional destruction, as well as socially damaging a school system and hurting the teacher's well-being. To begin with, bullying could be physically unsafe. It is unsafe because the victim can bring a dangerous weapon to school and not only hurt the bully, but innocent bystanders as well. According to the text in CNN News published in 2013, stated a student brought a gun into the classroom and accidentally shot a teacher and other students in the class. It was stated that the student was trying to teach the bully a lesson. Secondly, verbal bullying can be emotionally harmful to the victim and socially harmful to the school. Verbal bullying includes name calling, teasing, and threats. Reports have shown that this type of injustice can lower a person's self-esteem and cause low grade point average for a student. For example, the Healthy Children's Magazine, published in 2015, stated bullying damages a child's ability to see him or herself in positive light. Last but not least, exclusion of others is an inequality that destroys a victim's self-worth. In this platform, social exclusion can be defined as deliberately leaving other activities and social groups. A recent publication of the School Classic News Edition, dated in 2015, stated exclusion can be a subtle and very hurtful form of bullying. This causes the victim to lose self-control and have low sense of value. Social exclusion also causes sensation of physical pain in the pain center of the brain, thus proving to be just as hurtful as physical bullying. In conclusion, elementary schools need to be safe and positive environment. This is a necessity for students in order to learn, function, and develop academically and socially. Unsafe weapons, low self-esteem, and reduced confidence does not have a place in school. Awareness of this injustice begins with schools taking a stand by creating an anti-bullying network. This network will involve teachers, students, and parents coming together and learning about the effects of bullying. It's not just up to the schools to, to take a stand. Everyone in the community can get involved. 